we ran the numbers in states where they had produced a voter registration update recently enough that it gave you enough time since the Dobbs decision. And what we found, and this was analysis that we started back in August and have continued since then, that we found almost entirely, you know, the consistency of this is, is shocking. I think at this point we've looked at 46 states and all but four of those states have seen women account for a larger share of new registrants after Dobbs than they did before. And in fact, in many of these states, the gender gap that you're seeing is double digits, huge gender gaps. And these are key states. It's uh, the, the pattern's actually interesting because I think maybe some people initially thought of Dobbs as something, well, that's going to motivate blue state voters. That's just, you know, that's a, a fringe liberal thing. Those are the only people who are really going to get fired up. You know, the real voters are just concerned about the economy and inflation. And what we saw is the opposite. This was something that was firing up voters in red states, that you were seeing women registering at much higher rates. And in fact, when you look at the states of the base gender gaps, Alaska, Idaho, Louisiana are all in the top five. Uh, and then you also have states like Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, that all had double digit gender gaps. In fact, the smallest gender gaps, which were still increases representing increases among women registering to vote, were in blue states. Yeah, 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 yeah.